the Biden administration's had some, we'll call it interesting ways they're affecting the military. Well, Tucker Carlson chimes in on Fox News and said, it's a disgrace to the military, some of the things they're doing. Now, it may be. Let's, we're going to take a look here. But what do you think of Joe Biden's first few executive orders? Let's go. Meanwhile, in China, where the coronavirus originated, a top advisor to the Chinese government declared that the country was experiencing a very different kind of threat, a more profound threat. The problem, he said, was a national masculinity crisis. Chinese boys... Now, before we get into the insults, right, because, of course, the military came back and everybody was virtue signaling. We support our women. It's not quite what he says here. Let's talk about fundamentally. China is saying we need to have... Is there a threat to our masculinity? Is there a threat in the United States? Put that in the comments. Let's keep going. Quote, have been spoiled by housewives and female teachers. And they were becoming, as a result, quote, delicate, timid, and effeminate. In essence, they were becoming people who might listen to someone like Tony Fauci. <laughs> Left unchecked, said the Chinese government advisor, the feminization of Chinese boys would, quote, inevitably endanger the survival and development of the Chinese nation. In January, China's government acted on this recommendation. The Education Ministry of China released a notice entitled Proposal to Prevent the Feminization of Male Adolescents. The goal was to, quote, cultivate... So let me set the story up here. So the Biden administration, through executive orders, right, through fiat, signs a waiver, and it's true, signs an executive order, has changed a lot of the military. Now, is it making us more lethal or terrifying? No, no, I would say no. Meantime, the story is China is making things or saying, listen, we got to stop with the molly coddling of these little brats. They got to be raised like like boys were raised even 20 years ago. So that's the story. And he's going to respond. And that's where the shit storm comes from. Everybody dog piles on Tucker Carlson. It's masculinity. Have you seen this on other channels, by the way? Kind of interesting, isn't it? China won't explain the reasoning behind this plan, but there are some clues. Last year, we learned that China has quickly developed the world's largest naval force. In 2015, China had 255 battle force ships. Now they have more than 360. And many of those ships are more capable than anything in the American naval fleet. So how are we responding to this? Well, at the White House yesterday, Joe Biden... Now, how are we responding? Is it China propaganda... Are they forcing us to our hand? Is it 3D underwater chess? How are we responding? Interesting. It is an enemy. It has a lot of moving parts here. Black information or disinformation. We know how we're responding, but let's keep going. Let's watch it. Addressed it effectively. What's the American military's response? Here's what Joe Biden said. Some of it's relatively uh, straightforward work where we're making good progress, designing body armor that fits women properly, tailoring combat uniforms for women, creating maternity flight suits, and updating, uh, updating requirements for their hairstyles. And some of it is going to take and, uh, you know. Let me be frank here. As a business owner, right, as a practical guy, I'm not going to redesign everything for 10% of something. Let me be honest with you. I don't care if it's women or if it's my business, if 90% of the people who work for me do this, I'm not redesigning everything for 10%. Right off the bat, women have been wearing camouflage utilities fine, dress uniforms. Everybody gets them tailored. There's some guys that are ginormous, some guys that are middle of the road. Everything needs to be tailored. The haircut thing, I mean, this is a ruse. It's a waste of time. I don't know why he's in a press conference about it. It's an, an intensity of purpose and mission to really change the culture and habits that cause women to leave the military. So we've got new hairstyles and maternity flight suits. Pregnant women are going to fight our wars. It's a mockery of the U.S. military. While China's military becomes more masculine as it's assembled the world's largest navy, our military needs to become, as Joe Biden says, more feminine. Whatever feminine means anymore, since men and women no longer exist. Now, let's stop right there. Isn't a mockery. I, I don't know. This is where Tucker Carlson just got piled on because all the high-end people are going, you know, high-end military people are saying, we don't believe. He wasn't in the military. You know, keep going and going. Is it a mockery? 
it's a waste of time. They can do this. There's no need for a press conference. There's no need for publicity on this. Now, it does charge his base up. Let's be political here. It's good for the base. It seems like he's doing something. But the reality is there's nothing being done here. The bottom line is it's out of control. And the Pentagon's going along with this. Again, this is a mockery of the U.S. military and its core mission, which is winning wars. One of the few people who's... No, the core mission is breaking things and killing people, okay? Let's be, let's look at this picture. This is probably a rare exception. Is this woman going to be in a flight suit in a plane? The answer probably is no. It's probably not good for the baby to have any G-forces. You know, I would suspect, or OBGYN would say, you don't need to be flying at this point in pregnancy. Now, this is an example for discussion, right? But let's be honest. What percent is, is really happening here? And are we changing everything for this tiny fraction? And does anything need to be changed? Let's be real. I mean, if we could talk to some people who are honest about this in the military, who wouldn't get burned, and stop looking at the Twitter hacks, the sergeant majors, the colonels, the disgusting pigs who write about this, when you're going to hurt these people, it's absolutely an outrage. Paying attention to this is someone who served in the U.S. military, Indiana Congressman Jim Banks. Recently, he wrote a letter to the oh, U.S. Chief of Naval part. Operations asking why the Navy had included a book, Racist Filth, by Ibrahim X. Kendi on its 2021 reading list. Because that book teaches exactly what the Chinese propaganda ministry teaches, that America is fundamentally immoral. All right, this is getting me, I swear, so pissed off. I wish this wasn't true. I hope this is like just clickbait. How to be an anti-racist, and you're giving this to people on the, na the admiral's reading list? <sighs> Congressman Jim Banks here what this book's tonight. about. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. How could a book like this, really filth, wind up on a naval reading list? Uh, Tucker, I have no idea. I mean, we're in the middle of a 60-day stand-down, something that the entire military is doing to root out what they're calling extremism in the ranks. Right, right now, we're in the middle of that. So you'll have to forgive me for being astonished that the top admiral in the United States Navy would put a book on his recommended reading list to every sailor in the United States Navy that says that America is racist, that capitalism is racist, written by an author that said that Amy Coney Barrett is a white colonizer because she adopted a couple of African-American children. What in the hell is going on here? <laughs> I haven't watched this in advance. I just saw the piling on of Tucker Carlson, read that article, come, wanted to see this. This is outrageous. I mean, a naval admiral saying you should read this, which we know most rank and file in the Navy are reading this crap. But there's going to be some asshole officer that says, did you read it? Let's talk about it. Has a class. And people are going to get out. They're wondering about retention. <laughs> people don't want to stand for this kind of bureaucratic garbage. I mean, this is astonishing to me because at a time when we're supposed to be rooting out extremism in the ranks, that's exactly what the United States Navy is pushing uh, to, for, the, for the sailors to read. That's why I wrote a letter to Admiral Gilday. I haven't heard back from him yet. I wrote it to him a couple of weeks ago to bring his attention to just how terrible of a concept this book is that divides us, that weakens our military, and that, that ultimately distracts us at a time when we need to be focused on the, on the threat that we face uh, in the great power competition with China, as you said, who has a bigger Navy than we do. So it's, it's deeply troubling to me, but I don't have a good answer for you why this book would be included on a reading list that usually... All right, questions for you guys. Do you think that what Biden's doing is making a mockery? Maybe that's the bad word. Is it useful to the military? The rank and file, the people in the military, not me, people in, is it helping them by giving them attorney flight suits? Question one. Question two, do you think we've demasculated boys? We feminized them. China thinks they have. And then question three, do you think there should be a book like this that the naval head of the Navy says you should read based on what you've heard about it? And I did look it up, and it's disgusting.